Canada's Arctic, cold, remote, inhospitable. But for Canadian rangers, it's just another day at the office. And this is a job they volunteer for. They're Canada's guardians of the North, Canada's eyes and ears in the Arctic. Hence their motto, vigilance, the watchers. As climate change opens up the Arctic for more human activity, the Canadian government relies increasingly on the rangers to assert sovereignty in the North or for search and rescue operations. Their expertise in surviving and thriving in this harsh and forbidding environment is key to Canada's ability to operate in the Arctic. The rangers are a volunteer force. Most come from Canada's Aboriginal communities, the First Nations and the Inuit. All are experienced outdoorsmen with a lifetime knowledge of living on the land. Each ranger receives a World War II Lee Enfield rifle and gets trained in marksmanship, navigation, first aid and search and rescue. In return, the Canadian military gets world-class guides and scouts. Not long ago, Sergeant Bill Budd was hunting Taliban insurgents in Afghanistan. These days, he's a ranger trainer. But he says he learns a lot more from the rangers than he can teach them. How to look for good snow to build an igloo. Um, they, a lot of mechanical stuff with the machines. Um, they're really good at using very little uh, resources and uh, actually fixing the, sh the machines. Sometimes they'll actually build parts out of, you know, simple objects that you never think you could build a part to to uh, get a machine going out of. So little things like that. You know, this is their this is their playground and. Uh, when we come up here, uh, we try and pay you know as much attention as we can, and uh, and it, it's a good uh, it's a good payoff because you do learn a lot of stuff. Them, uh, they as well learn a little bit of stuff from us too. So so it's a pretty good trade-off. But being a ranger is not just for men. Pretty much all the patrols have women in them, and uh, you know their skill sets are are excellent too. They're a real asset to. Uh, to the patrols, and uh, there's uh, lots of things that they're just as capable of doing. You know, it's pretty tough living, especially in uh, Nunavut, up in the north here, and uh, the women are are just as proficient with a lot of things as, uh, as the men. But as well, culturally, they have certain things that, that they will do when a camp is set up, and then the men have other things that they will do as well. So they both uh, have that trade-off, and uh, that's what gets the job done up here. Sergeant Bud says the Canadian military would be hard pressed to operate in the Arctic without the Rangers. I think we can operate in terrain like this, but uh, I don't think it's a wise thing because this is, like I said, this is their playground. And why would you not use somebody that is familiar with this type of terrain uh, as guides, as scouts? Um, I think it would be foolish and. Uh, I think the soldier that would have to come up here and do that would be have to be of a high, high skill set. He would have to be trained by the rangers and then he may be able to do it, but things such as the ice out here, definitely these are the guys that, uh, that are going to get you through and they're going to get you through safe. Whether building an igloo or reading land and ice, rangers pass on survival techniques that the Inuit hunters have perfected over millennia. For the Inuit, the rangers provide a valuable employment opportunity in a region where jobs are scarce. And the skills they learn save lives in their own communities, says ranger Adam Funoktonak, who in his civilian life works in the hamlet office of his native Joe Haven. Guys usually go out on the land and uh, the family members call the search and rescue and uh, we get to go look uh, towards where they were. For ranger and Inuit artist Bart Hanna, the rangers provide a precious opportunity to pass on land skills to the younger generation that's sometimes more familiar with an iPod than the working end of a hunting rifle. It would be good for because we uh, go out in, the, uh, in a group. There's other people that with the older generation has uh, more 
tra traditional skills and he learns that from the older people and things like that because the lifestyle has changed rapidly uh, with the uh, Inuit uh, generation. For others, being a ranger provides a nice opportunity to break the routine, experience an adventure, travel to unknown corner of Canada, and why not, have some fun.